grabbing that mixer. All you need is a bowl. Because we are making oatmeal raisin cookies this time. And I'm pretty sure you guessed if you could see the oats. Or maybe I'm trying my hands at no mix again. Anyways, so what you're going to need for this is two eggs, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half, one and one half cup of flour, three cups of oats, one cup of raisins, this isn't the raisins, this is three fourths of a cup of ground sugar and a half cup of normal white sugar. And half cup of butter. I'm going to get out the proper utensils that I need for this, and we'll see you then. Okay, got all my utensils, got my pans out. Now, first things first, we need to preheat the oven to 350. You seem to like that number. show you what I'm using. One teaspoon scoop. A, I guess a multi-cup scoop. A multi-measured cup. You can go up to one cup, or if you want to go in milliliters, 250. Fork for testing cookies when they're done. Just sure. First things first, I'm going to decide what I want to put in first. That's going to be flour. I am using gluten free flour. Next, depending on what you want to use next, or get next, sure. So you need one and a half cups of flour and three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to take this time to say thank you, Auntie Heather, for making the directions very simple. There's the thanks. Sugar, congratulations, sugar, whatever you want to call it. You just lightly mix it for now. And get it distributed, I guess. It's not gonna make a difference because soon you're gonna have to do really well. Okay, so we got the brown sugar, normal sugar, and flour. Mix 
this is a teaspoon of baking soda. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon's awesome. And with our lovely little ease bottle, a teaspoon of vanilla. No. I want the teaspoon. Also done with this. Right? Wrong. This, this. And it's. See how the workspace clears up. Next is your eggs and butter. I am not going to attempt to juggle these. Oh, that's not working. As it is succeeding to make a mess of the shell. Really takes a lot of practice. Shell's a two-piece snap. Go ahead and mix it together if you want, but you need to put the butter in next, so. I'm thinking about mixing it now, though, just because it's gonna be a little bit simpler. Because I'm using a few flowers, so I want to see if it's nice and Mugged it together. I need to wash my hands again. Okay. Like I said, because I'm using gluten free flour, I want to see if this is going to bind together at all. I'm going to need to add some xanthan gum. One and a half cups, so just one teaspoon? Um, two. Two. So, just clean about not needing a teaspoon. Turns out if you're using gluten free flour, you're going to need two teaspoons. Uh, yeah, thank God. This is not gum. Two teaspoons. Bye-bye to the gun. Okay. That's going to bind a lot easier now. So. Time for the next best thing. Butter. 
kind of this and looks like it. We'll be right back after I rinsed out my measuring cup and mixed in all that. Bye. Slight change of plans. We were supposed to melt the butter, but Auntie Heather, because I know you're probably going to be watching this, and you're probably going to criticize me about what I'm doing wrong, you did not list to melt the butter. <laughs> so, I'm going to melt a cup of peanut butter and put it in there. Why not?
internal battery is set to die in, so I will see you when I have them on the tray, and I'm about to put it in that up. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Just to show you about the size you want to make these of these. And I want to make them about not that big. So now I will really see you when I'm ready to put these in the oven. All right, cookies are made. to 10 minutes. That's going to be all. Ish, I'm going to give you a little clip when the cookies are done. But that's going to be all for today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we will see you in the next video.